This is your quick offer. All right. This is if you just, man, we fogged it up in here. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> this is like we're hot boxing in here. All right. Um, so uh, the quick offer here. All right. For properties that are $250,000 or above. So you're calling, you're calling, you're calling. Zillow, you press that Zillow button on your dialer or you're having a conversation with the property owner and you Google the address as you're talking to them, as you should, so that you can see kind of what, you, you can have a, a really good, uh, clear conversation about their actual property, the size of it, what it looks like, the age of it, those type of mm. things, the repairs that it needs. Um, when you're looking at Zillow and it's 250,000 or above, I want you to use 66%, literally just times that number by 0.66, okay? This is just easy. Now we're gonna get, we're gonna get more nitty gritty. We're gonna get more in the weeds on this, but this is a good jumping off point, especially if people are really, really pushing you. Give me your price, give me your price, give me your price. They're not giving up anything. You're asking them what they think their property's worth. You're asking them how much repairs do they do. Do they think it needs all of those things? And they're not really giving it to you. They still got that force field up. It's still real thick, right? They're not, they're not really playing along. They're not answering the questions. You can throw out 66%. This is going to get you uh, really, really, really close to what the price is going to be. If it's under 250 to a hundred thousand, I want you to throw out 50%. All right. Of that Zillow price. All right, this is taking into account all the other factors that I'm gonna show you in a second, but 250 to 100,000, boom, 50%. All right, and then if it's under 100,000, if it's 100,000 and below, 25%. Maybe to 30, but I wanna keep you at 25 because I like you anchoring low to see what the opportunity is there. All right, so 66%, and by the way, as questions are coming up, put them in the comments. That's the point of the show. We go for two hours answering questions, all right? Answering questions with a lot of enthusiasm. So make sure that you put it in there, all right? So that's easy. Quick offer. Take a little snap pic of your, uh, on your phone, and we're rocking and rolling. If you can see it, it's still a little foggy in here, but here we go. Uh, this is for property. Well, let's start here. This is for properties that are under 200,000. Mike, I'm gonna have you get your calculator out just so that we can um, do this quickly. All right, so look at this. This is the calculation. There's four steps to the first part to get what you are gonna sell your deal at if you are doing a traditional wholesale uh, transaction, all right, a wholesale deal, right? These four things are the things that you need to focus on. Obviously, the ARV. What is the value of that property? You've run in comps, you're, you, you've got a pretty good idea of what fixed up, totally beautiful, what that property sells for. So right there, let's say that this property goes for $150,000, okay? Right there. We're just, I'm just doing this as an example, all right? Now, closing costs, we're gonna put in there and I didn't put it in there off the bat because I wanted you to, see, you to see me draw that, is 6%. That's gonna stay fixed, 6%. This is for real estate agent fees. This is for the title and escrow fees. This is for closing attorney fees. This is for title insurance. All of the closing costs associated. Now listen, when they buy, when you're cash buyer, these are all what your cash buyer is gonna be looking at, these four right here. So when your cash buyer is calculating their, if this is a deal for them or not, 6% is going to be put in there, not just for the purchase, but also if they're selling this, if they're going to be, um, if they're going to be flipping this property, the, this goes to that 6% mark because there's typically real estate agent fees. If they were just buying it to hold it, typically it's about 2% to 3% of the purchase price. But I like going a little bit higher to give us a buffer. All right. So 6% of this is what? Six grand, right? 9,000. 9,000. Jeez, 9,000. I'm crazy. Uh, the profit. Now, th listen, this is where people get confused. All right. Because we've gone through this. We've gone through this a lot. But if this is your first time watching this, perfect. Uh, the profit here is always minimum going to be the minimum profit for properties under 200,000 is going to be 20,000. That's going to always be in there for any properties. I don't care if that property's worth 60,000 or 40,000 or whatever else. If somebody's gonna take on a project, they're gonna wanna make this. If it's a flip, 
It's different if it's a rental, but it's if it's a flip property, which these are the properties I want you to go after. I want you to go after the roughest of the roughest because this gives, builds in bigger assignment fees for you with the same amount of effort. All right, we want to look at ugly properties. All right, uh, next we've got, we've got rent renovation here. So the rehab renovation, let's pop up that, that chart again, uh, Matt, just so that everybody has it. Boom, fix and flip repair cost right here. Let's say that this property is under, uh, uh, under uh, 1,500 square feet and it needs work. We're gonna minus 25,000. You know, you walk into the property and you're like, you know what, this needs work. This needs some work. It's not like, oh my gosh, but it's like, okay, we need to go in, we need to put appliances, we need to do paint, we need to do floors, we need to do fixtures and fans and light bulbs and door stops and door handles and all that. 25,000. Boom. What does that put us at, Mike? We got 150 minus 9 minus 20 minus 25,000. 96,000. $96,000. $96,000. 96000 is what you are going to sell that deal for to a uh, cash buyer. All right. But, but what price do you offer the seller? because now we have to build in our assignment fee. Let's put a minimum, we like doing minimums here of $10,000. Put it in your brain, I don't care your market. I don't care if your market's like the average is 3,000, I want 10,000. You're building too many skills to not get paid $10,000. You're providing too much value to not get $10,000 a deal. Got it, boom. Offer price, 86,000. That is what you offer to the property owner. This is the offer that you are, uh, that's the most that you wanna give for that property to the property owner, okay? Now look back on this, right? Remember this one? Remember this, it's under 150, we're at 50%. It's pretty close. 50% of this would be 75,000. It's a nice jumping off point, but you can get to 86, all right? See how those kind of work together, hand in hand? Boom, you got it, you got it, you guys are fast. All right, ARV here, over 200,000. Same thing, but there's one main difference. All right, there's one main difference. Closing cost is still 6%. All right, that's ugly. Profit here now goes to 10% of the deal. Not just a minimum of, not just 20,000, it goes to 10%. That's why I've done a lot of content saying, take the ARV times 0.84. That's where it comes from. It comes from 6% for closing costs, 10% from profit. So let's say we're dealing with a property that's 400,000. All right, ARV 400,000. Closing costs in that, Mike, what is that, 24? All right, 24,000, I got my math going today. Woo, profit. Uh, profit 10% is 40,000, right? See how that's much more than that 20,000? It's because it's more risk. There's more risk taken down this deal, so there should be more reward. 10% is a minimum that people are looking for. Now, people argue with me all over the country, all over. My investors, my cash buyers want 30%. They want 20%. Yeah, if the properties are 75,000, absolutely. But I'm telling you, if you're in a market that is selling properties at 400,000, making 40,000 on one deal from fixing and flipping a property is what they're looking for. I'm telling you, if you're going way, way, way lower, you're, you're losing out on deals. People will pay this, I'm telling you. And there you go, let's go renovation. Let's put that fix and flip uh, repair cost back up. Matt, Matt on the spot. Let's say that this one is, wow, this is bad, 2,000 square feet. It, it needs $75,000 in repairs. Mike on the calculator. 261. 261, boom. Now, if you're doing an assignment fee here and it's over 200,000, what do you think I expect? Do you think I want you to make 10,000 on this deal? Oh no, we go for a $20,000 minimum. Boom, right there. Okay, and that puts us at 241 for the offer price to the property owner. Got it? 20,000, 241, that's what we offer. They fix it up, they put all this money into it, they're making it look beautiful, they sell it for 400. Now, let's look back again 
Mike, what's 66% of 400? Let's see what 66% of 400 is. 264. 264. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. 264. A little bit higher, right? This one needed a little bit more work, so we put in 75. Make sure you run your calculations, but this is a decent... If they're willing to go 264 and then you see that property and it needs a lot of work, maybe they'll come down to that 241. All right? So that is... Listen right here to make it quick this is quick and easy right here over two hundred thousand. you got it pause it take a picture keep this in your head boom right here under two hundred thousand, and you are rolling that is how you come up with an offer price for one that the property owner like is going to go for and two that you're going to be able to make what you want to make on your assignment fee if you like that video, hit that subscribe button. We come out with new videos every single day. And if you want your questions answered, like you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, make sure that you join us for the live show every single Wednesday. I will see you there.